This is the LG VX9700, also known as the Dare. So there's the front of the box, the back of the box. Open up this box and we got. Okay. We have a music CD, a guidebook. Uh, here there is the tra travel adapter and the charging adapter, and here is the USB and wire to plug into the phone. They connect and you can charge your phone. Okay. Here is the phone itself. Okay. So take it out, and here we go. It has an automatic locking button, as you can see. Okay. So the actual buttons are here. You have the end and power down button, the call and speaker, and the command button. You have the call button here. On the side, you have your USB and charging slot. You have your speakerphone, your micro SD, and your lock. On the top, there is a 3.5 millimeter head jack, which will fit your ordinary headphones. On the side, you have your volume rocker, and you have a dedicated uh, camera button. On the back, there's a 3.2 megapixel camera. So as you can see, it is a very nice 3 inch diagonal screen. You have your five main buttons on the bottom and you have your shortcuts bin on the side, right here. You can personally set this by pressing set, by pressing which one you want to do, and by clicking the new one, call setting. Then you simply press done. Besides that, there is a main, mon main menu button which will bring you to your basic features, which is everything. You have a favorites where you pick your favorite people and you can simply drag them and push them wherever you want, but this is easier than your contacts. You simply kick, click one, call, text message, anything. Besides that, you also have your contact book list. You have all your names, but on the top here is the alphabet. Uh, it has every letter, and when you, instead of scrolling all the way down, you can simply press on any of the letters. That works great. The touch screen is very responsive, and as you can see, this phone works great. So, to call, you simply press the phone button, and you can dial your number, you can draw your number or you can do a voice command you can also have a text message obviously you can simply press the text message button new text message you have three ways of doing a text message the simple way you can write it or you can do a keypad this works great. You really never really make a mistake unless of course it's when you first get it. It gets a little getting used to but besides that it works spectacular. Besides that you can also customize about everything. In your shortcut bin you can drag anything you want onto the desktop. See? My videos dragging to the desktop. So now you can simply press one of these instead of going anywhere. It's a very good shortcut. Besides that, you also have some fun features, such as a drawing pad. In the drawing pad, you can draw just about anything. I recommend using a stylus to draw more advanced pictures. That is very nice of this. Besides that, you can also uh, I'll show you the camera now. You press the camera button. It turns on. It has great photos. You can take it like that. It has many features such as Smart Pick, which will help in low uh, lighting places. You can take nine shots simultane simultaneously. You can change your shutter sound, color effects, uh, all bunch of stuff. You also have face detection, which is very advanced for phones of this because it's the only phone in America to have that. You can get uh, your resolution up to that. That is very high. 
Besides that, you can also edit a picture. You simply take one, save it. Oh, this phone also has a flash. A flash, autofocus, a timer, all the basics too. But you can edit it by simply pressing it, zoom in on it, or you can edit it, what I was saying before, edit. In the editing mode, you can do many things. You can draw on it. Uh, you can draw on it, which you simply go to edit, and you click the little uh, marker. Then you can draw whatever you want on it. Besides that, you can also add uh, pictures with stamps. Or you can add a frame or hair, pirate hat, all this fun stuff. You can add a frame like that. Besides that, you can crop it, change the contrast, and everything. Very great editing feature. But, like the iPhone, when there's a picture, you can drag it and push it to the side, and you get to your next picture, which is a very nice feature. So that is just some of the greatness. This has a very great, it's got a very clear uh, speakerphone music playing. It's very nice. I like it a lot. This phone, as you can see, is sleek and stylish. It fits in my pocket nicely, and I've dropped it once or twice, and it doesn't fall apart or scratch easily. The screen is holding up well and not scratching easily as well. For the videos, it comes out a nice thing, and you can look it up on YouTube of the LG's Dare's resolution uh, for the video camera. Besides that, that is the phone. It is very good. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment and I will try to get to them. This is the LG Dare.